All right, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and I'm actually filming a video like I said I was gonna do. Okay, so you guys are probably gonna have to bear with me a little bit because this is my first time actually filming with this setup that, well, you guys can't actually see, so. It's also raining out and there's a metal roof in this room, so I'm sorry that's gonna be incredibly loud and annoying. Ah, there's really nothing I can do about it because this is, this is the time I have to film, and if I don't do it now, I won't get to do it until next week. So, anyways, this is the unboxing of the board game Star Saga from Mantic Games. And, oh my god, I am so excited to do this. I'm finally doing this, because I've been saying on the live stream I was going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and then I didn't do it. But I'm actually doing it right now, guys. I'm actually doing it. And let me tell you. It was no small effort to get this setup working. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, so in the comments, let me know uh, how well this this setup is is working for you guys. Like, do you do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, tell me that sort of stuff. I'm I'm actually filming on my airbrush table right now, so yeah, I realize it's not the prettiest table ever. It's it it was worse. I cleaned it off before this. It had paint all over it. Um, oh, also for you guys who watch my live stream, I saved my airbrush. It's okay. Remember, I was if if you watched my last live stream, I was saying I broke it. Um, it's fine. I didn't end up having to buy a new one. I mean, I I ordered a new one, but I canceled the order. So, yeah, my Iwata Eclipse. It's okay. Ah, yes, it's fine. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop talking about that now. All right, here's what we're here to do today is unbox. Oh, I'm also, I apologize. The, the microphone stand is attached to my airbrush table and it's a plastic table and it's a metal microphone arm and I don't have a shock thing, one of those shock reducer things. So probably every time I touch the table, you guys are gonna hear it in the microphone. So I'm sorry, again, this is my first time with this setup. I just put it together. I've spent about two hours getting this setup ready. Hopefully, I mean, it won't take two hours to do this every time I, I want to film a video in here, but okay, enough stuff that's not actually related to what we're doing right now. Let's unbox Star Saga. Okay, so as you can see, it comes in a box. It comes in a very nice box. Ooh, box, yes, look at this, okay. Um, I'm going to try and show you all the different parts of the box. I don't know how well this is going to be in the frame because the monitor that shows me what I'm filming is actually behind me. So that's very inconvenient to look at. So let's see. Here are, okay, let's see if I can do this. Here's the side and then here's this side. I think it says Star Saga on all the sides. Let's see if I can keep it in focus while doing this. And then that side there, and I'll show you guys the back. Here's the back, and that noise is all the stuff like falling around in here. Now I have already opened this before, just as you know, so you guys are aware. So most of the stuff that was in plastic bags is no longer in plastic bags, and there were some things that were in like cardboard punch out sheet things. I've already punched them out. So I'll just be showing you what's in those and stuff. Um, but I haven't like uh, done anything with like the figures yet with the with the minis that are in here or anything like that So I don't know if you guys can read this uh, if you want to pause the video and read this. That's fine You can you can totally do that and uh, And stuff but okay enough enough of the actual box. Let's let's open this up and see what's in here now I of course already know what's in here, but it's so cool. I want to share it with you guys. So here we go dun 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 Okay, the box. All right, so immediately we have the Star Saga rule book. Now this is actually a pretty comprehensive rule book. I've read most of this. You can play this game with one to five players. And if you have one to four players, well, if, let me rephrase. If you have two to four players, you can play this game cooperatively. If you have a fifth player, one player has to be what's called the Nexus player. And that's basically the person who's like, controlling all the NPCs and stuff and like working against the party to you know stop them from achieving the goal of their mission and all that sort of stuff so it's very fun I'm not gonna you know like go through the whole thing but I'll, I'll just you know kind of flip a couple of pages here and you can see what's in here and stuff like that it's it's a very nice rule book it's it's very nice I mean it's not 
hugely complex. I mean, it's a board game. It's a sit down and play this on the weekend with your with your friends or you know your maybe your family or something kind of thing. Then we have a second booklet in here. This book, the Eris Contract Mission Book, uh, is is what tells you how to set up the game for all the different missions that you can do. So. You, you look through this book and it'll tell you like how to set up the, the tiles for the board and what guys you need and all that kind of stuff. I'm probably not showing this very well. I'm not I'm not gonna flip through the whole thing. Like you get I'm sure you get the idea. Like uh, yeah. But anyways, then there's all the stuff in the actual box. Now the box doesn't come looking all disorganized like this. I just open it up and dump things in places and stuff. So it's it's not gonna look terrible. It was actually very organized and things were actually in the proper bags and everything when I when I first opened this but just to show you guys oh I'm dumping everything out of here okay I'm losing all my cards so there are, there are three different sets of cards well three or four okay so we have these big huge cards which you probably can't see I'm gonna okay here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna hold these maybe up to the camera and then I have to manual focus this on the cards because the autofocus sucks Okay, here we go. All right, so we have uh, five, no, five, so six, some some number of cards. We have six, six cards. We have six cards representing uh, all the different uh, player characters that you can choose from, which are which are these things here. And then there are some other cards here, these red ones. These cards have all the stats for like the boss characters and stuff like that. And I like that there in fact are boss characters in this game. Okay. So I realize that this is all blurry right now, but I'm gonna show you other things up close. So just bear with me. So there are two more sets of cards here. So these cards right here, uh, let's see. Okay, they say what they are on the back. So these are the Nexus cards and the Minion cards and all of that kind of stuff. Let's see. Yeah, so these cards are basically, I think they're, I'm not, I'm not sure I haven't gotten to play the game yet, so I don't know fully what I'm talking about, but I believe all of these cards are for uh, the, for like the NPCs and the, the Nexus player and stuff like that is this like normal size deck of cards right here. Then, uh, sorry about that thump. Okay. Then there is a very tiny deck of cards. These are real small, like compared to my hand. Like you can, I'll, here, I'll show you in comparison to the, the normal cards, they're tiny. And then in comparison to the big cards, look how small these are. Okay. But these are the loot cards. These are all loot cards. There is, there's nothing but, oh, well, some of them are skills. Okay, I'm sorry. Some of these are skill cards. Some of these are loot cards. I suppose you separate them into two piles. Again, I haven't gotten to play the game. Ooh, rare items and mission bonuses. Okay, two or three piles or something like that. And then you do whatever it is that the uh, mission book or the rule book tells you to do with them and stuff. Now, there are some templates. This is a lovely flame template. This is one of the things that is in the cardboard punch out sheets. And we'll get to more of that stuff later. In fact, like the entire the entire board is in the cardboard punch out sheets. But yeah, again, we'll we'll talk about that later. But that is a flamer template because some people have like flame type weapons. And then I think uh, the rest of this stuff is uh, is got oh and, and let's look at the dice. Let's look at the dice here. I'll open the bag and I'll dump these out. And we'll look at them up close, and I won't dump them on the table because that would be horrible for anybody listening to this, basically. I'll just put them in my hand. Okay. So these are all the same, but... Okay, so there are some blue ones. and they the, the blue ones and the orange ones, or I guess the red, have the same sort of symbols on them. They have this one, they have this one, they have this one, and that's it. And then some of the spaces are blank, right? And those are the defender dice. And then we have some orange ones that have this symbol. I'm trying to get this in the frame so you guys can see. Then this symbol and there's this oh, and this symbol. And then also some of the spaces are blank. Okay. So you have the red attack dice and the blue defender dice or attacker and defender dice. 
and then you roll them and then it, it, it tells you what to do in the rule book. I'm not gonna... This video really isn't about explaining how to play the game, it's just about what's in the box and stuff like that, so... But yeah, they're, they're pretty nice feeling dice. I mean, they're dice. I don't know, like, what, what do you expect? Like, these are, these, uh, symbols are actually, like, etched on them. They're, in, they're engraved. That's, those aren't, like, stickers on them or anything. So you don't have to worry about the, the symbols coming off over time or anything like that. Then, this is some cool stuff. There are two bags like this. So, uh, some of the stuff you can see I've, I've opened... Uh, these were just in, you know, like, plastic bags that you had to cut open. But then some of the stuff is in plastic Ziploc bags. So the things that were in Ziploc bags, I've just left in the Ziploc bags. Now, I'm not going to dump out the entire bag of stuff, but I will take a couple of items out of here and show you guys what this stuff looks like. So, as far as I can tell, this stuff is all plastic, and that's real dark. I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. Uh, but... Uh, the lights over here. It's not gonna show up that well over here. So okay. Anyways, this is like a little drawers uh, thing with a couple of poles and stuff. And then there is some other stuff. There's like, let's see. Um, although you know what, I can't. I'm. I can't tell if this stuff is actually plastic or if it's resin if any of you guys know if it's plastic or resin let me know down in the comments please uh but anyways then you have some i'm holding it totally out of frame you have like a fuel tank um so, uh, i'm sorry you guys probably can't see this stuff it's real dark the light's pretty much right on the desk but yeah this stuff looks very nice very detailed like if you were so inclined to paint these things like they would uh they would paint up very nice and look very cool and stuff so there's that bag of stuff then we have another bag of stuff now this is uh more like doors and things in here or pieces of walls or stuff like that so this is a door and again it's it's super dark i apologize for the darkness let's see if i can catch some light on here Okay, so if I hold it like this, you can see there's a, you know, there's like a door thing. So there's a door you can, like the the mission book will tell you how to set up all the all the terrain and all the board pieces and stuff. And we'll get to the board pieces in a second. Uh, but then you have things that are like little barricades or stuff like that. And they're pretty cool. Uh, these are definitely plastic. These I can just, I can feel are plastic. Um, the rest of the stuff in here, there's, I'm, I, yeah, I just can't tell whether it's plastic or resin. Uh, but that's all... Oh, sorry. That was loud. Uh, but that's all the terrain sort of pieces. So next, let's start with one of the coolest figures in here. This guy is called the Aberration. Let's see if I can get him right up to the camera. Let's see how close I can get him. Oh, no, the water pump. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's really loud in this room. Oh, that was one of my biggest negatives about filming in this room is that the water pump is in the next it's the water pump is in the garage and this room is adjacent to the garage so that's something we're gonna have to deal with while filming in here i apologize <sighs> but anyways isn't that loud that's so annoying i get to deal with that all night anyway okay so this guy is called the aberration there is a card for him it's one of those red cards that i showed you and uh, I'm pretty sure this guy's plastic, but he could be resin. I don't know. But everything, all the miniatures in here are pre-assembled. Like, you didn't have to put anything together or anything like that. But yeah, he's very cool. So that's that's one of my favorite ones. Okay, so we have... I'm just going to take this whole handful of dudes out of here. We have a bunch of blue guys. Bunch of, bunch of blue guys. Do, 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 do. I think that's all of them. Oh, wait, there's other pieces of stuff in here. Let's see. I'll just turn it up like this. Okay. I have just kind of dropped the, the punch-out pieces in here kind of randomly, but that's okay. So some of these blue guys, I think, are the boss characters that are indicated on the red cards. So they're not all play player characters, but all of the player characters are done in this blue uh what I'm, I'm going to call it plastic but again it might be resin but i think it's plastic so okay this is oh you guys can't see this okay you know what let me 
let me hold him back here and I'll try and focus the camera back here again. Let's see. Okay, can you guys see this? Okay, I'm sorry this is super far away, but you can't see it at all if it's if I try to get it closer. You know what? Maybe I could just zoom the camera in. Let's try that. I might make it really dark though. Or I might make it brighter. Okay. That's that's cool. Okay. I guess we can do that. Okay. Maybe that'll work. That still seems kind of dark. Uh, I'm sorry I can't get a better shot of this. But this guy is a little dwarf guy, and you probably can't see it very well, but these figures are really detailed. Really, really detailed. That is the little dwarf guy. This one here is Erica Delinsky. She's the leader of the mercenaries. Oh, yeah, you play like a band of mercenaries who's like infiltrating, you know, shadowy organizations and stuff in this game. Anyways. She's very cool. Uh, you notice she's kind of leaning a little bit on her stand. That's that's nothing. That's not like a major problem. This is just something you fix by taking a hair dryer to this or something. And there are other uh, figures that are like this too. So let's look at another one. Sorry if I bumped the table super bad there. Let's look at another one like that. So this is the little robot guy whose name I don't know. Now, you'll notice his arms are kind of close together. They're actually supposed to be kind of spread apart like this. This is also something you can fix very easily just, you know, with a hair dryer or something like that. This is just something that happens when you have a bunch of pre-assembled miniatures being shipped in a box like this. It, it's just going to happen. And then this is your alien psychic wizard caster psychic kind of dude. Uh, not that you can see him terribly well, but he's pretty cool. He has a card. They all, well, all of your hero guys have cards. Then this is your melee close combat sword. Oh, sorry. Melee close combat sword wielding type of dude. Now you'll notice this guy's sword is also bent like so. This is also something that's fairly easy to fix. It's just something you have to expect when, when the, yeah, like I was saying, when they pre-assemble the miniatures and they put them all in a box and ship them all over the world that just that just happens and then this is uh frank salvaggio the devil or something like that and his gun is a little bit bent right here ah oh, you can't i'm sorry i keep holding this out of the frame frank salvaggio the devil and his gun is a little bit bent just right here but again this is all stuff you can fix with a hairdryer now if i'm if i'm correct and you can't really see all the detail in this video and it's very dark. Um, let me just tell you, these miniatures are very, very detailed. Very, very detailed. Like, um, they're, I wouldn't say they're as good quality as like Warhammer 40K miniatures or, you know, stuff from Citadel or Games Workshop or anything like that, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Like they're, yeah, they're pretty good. I'm. I'm happy with them. So if you're gonna if you were gonna paint these, you'd probably enjoy painting them. And I'm probably gonna get around to painting them at some point, but I just have a huge Warhammer backlog right now. Then we have some of the bad guys. These are the red cards. And this is a dude with some uh, Doc Ock stuff going on here. And then we have like a military commander type guy. He's pretty cool. And we have some other dude in like a power armor suit. Pretty cool. And then we have this thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this guy's supposed to be. He's he's weird. He's uh yeah, he's weird. There's a card for him. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. I haven't played the game yet. It's just cool. I like this. Okay. And then there are also two little like machine gun turret things here. And there's also whatever this thing is, like a pack terminal thingy of some sort. Okay. Then there are a bunch of red guys. There are two piles of red guys. Let me get all these red guys out and we'll, we'll take a look at all the red guys. <laughs> Because the, the red guys are all the bad guys that you're you're trying to kill and that are trying to kill you, and you have to get past them. Some of them are 
like security guys and some of them are like lab technician guys uh but they're all red they're all red so you know who the bad guys are well except for the bad guys that are blue i guess you wouldn't know who they are and you can't see how many dudes i'm uh, directly I, I guess you can't see the big pile I've just made, but let's see if I can pick them all up and hold them in front of the camera. <laughs> there are this many red guys. These are all the security guys and lab technicians, and like uh, some of them aren't either one of those. Let's see. Let's start with those guys. Some of them are are these things that look like the thing from Fantastic Four. Uh, they're weird looking, but I think they're probably something to do with this guy. I don't know. I haven't, like, I haven't played the game. I haven't read the book. The, I haven't read the mission book or anything like that. But then some of them are, like, cool-looking soldier guys. They have guns and armor and stuff. Then some of them are, like, cool-looking uh, guys with knives. I think these might be the lab technicians. I'm not sure. Let's see. We have more soldier guys and uh, dudes with knives. Yeah, I think that's what's I think that's what the thing is. Uh let's see, we have more soldier guys. They're they're not all the same. There are a lot of repeats. I gotta say, there there are a lot of repeats, but yeah, they're not all identical. Like some of these uh thing hulk looking guys are, are crouching and some of them are running, and then some of the soldiers are holding their gun like this and pointing and stuff. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And then some of them are like this. So it's hard to tell like which ones are the lab technicians and which ones are the uh are the actual soldier guys and stuff, but I don't suppose it really matters. I mean you could probably use either one for either thing. That's gonna be loud. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the board pieces and it's raining some more. Okay, I thought that was gonna let up. Okay, so we can take out the plastic insert thing in here. Now when you first get the game What's going to happen is you're going to take that out and then there are going to be some square cardboard sheets underneath and they're going to contain all of the board pieces that look like this and you just punch them out and they're double sided. So they have stuff on both sides. Well, you know what double sided means. Okay, so there are a whole bunch. Uh, I guess I'm not going to show you all of them, but just suffice it to say there are a lot. There are quite a lot of these things, and you can put them together in different ways, and they're all double-sided. And the like, the mission book will tell you how to how to use them. Oh, and in addition to that, there are these kind of ruler things. They're not well, they're not technically rulers, but they're mm, measurement things. It it says what they're for in the rule book. But I forgot. But the you need these, but they just come in the cardboard punch out things and they're double sided. And also that flamer template I showed you at the beginning of the video, that comes in one of these things. And stuff. And that's pretty much that's, oh wait, no, that's not it. That's not it at all. Okay. Then uh in addition to all of that stuff, let's see, I've just I've just randomly dumped these in the in the plastic insert thing but there are also a whole bunch of little cardboard marker things that look like this and are double-sided uh these green ones uh i can tell you mean if you put these on the board this is where enemies are going to spawn basically and this is the little cardboard thing that indicates where the mercenaries are going to start oh i guess some of them are okay it's also a, a thing that says where enemies are going to spawn but if you put it this way with this little with this little metal triangle thing on it, then that's where your mercenaries are going to start off. Like, all of them. And then there are some smaller things. I don't know what all of these indicate. I'm sure you can't see that. That's, that's They're really small. I don't know what they indicate just yet, but, you know, once I actually play the game, we'll, we'll actually figure these things out, and then I'll be able to tell you. So, there are also some different kinds of things like that, but that's... That's pretty much all the stuff that's in this box. So it looks like a fairly complex game. However, I did read a lot of the rule book and it's not overly complex. It seems complex enough to be involving, but not so complex as to like turn people off to the game basically. Um, so yeah, 
I think that's that's pretty much it. That's all the stuff that's in the box. That's pretty much what you can expect to get in this box. And I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Also, guys, again, let me know what you thought of this setup. I, I know it's probably not ideal, but I think it's the best I'm going to be able to do right now for this uh, for for the state that the rest of this room is in. I don't think I can uh, do better. So I don't know. Let let me know what you thought of the setup, and let me know what you thought of the video in general. Did did you like? The unboxing, do you, are you looking forward to playing Star Saga? Do you own Star Saga? Have you played it and you like it? Have you played it and you hate it? I don't know. Any of those things. Tell me down in the comments. Or or join me for my live stream on Saturday at midnight. And you can tell me then. And yeah, I'm all hang out and everything. So yeah. Also, if you don't know, I do a live stream every week. Uh, Saturday. I put 11.59 p.m. in the thing just so there's no confusion as to what time it's actually going to start and now it's raining real hard so i'm going to end the video here so guys thanks for watching um yeah do all the do all the usual youtube stuff that people tell you to do at the end of their videos and all that kind of stuff um thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace